We were uh, working so much, we were playing and touring and everything, so we kind of were oblivious to all of that other stuff coming on, coming in and what we were doing. And, um, you know, all of a sudden, at that point, the strength of what we were doing and that other stuff happening in the rest of the world that weren't really aware of, all of a sudden now we're pussies. As we're here, we're making this masterpiece in our eyes, and, and, and we know that, you know, we'll give those guys a run for their money as far as their personal issues and shit like that, you know, and could have, could have slapped together a grunge record really early and early on, but like, I didn't know what was going on and, and, uh, you know, just kind of and a, a lack of direction from labels as far as visually and stylistic. And, um, that's where they, both of them dropped the ball, you know, we tried and, um, and it was kind of killed me because like this Nirvana and all that stuff's coming out. And it's like, I'm a big piece of shit like these guys too. I don't like dressing up in fancy clothes. You know what I mean? I do drugs. You know, I write heavy shit. I have angst stuff, you know, and here I'm out there with my butterfly net, you know, and, and flowered pants and stuff like that, you know? So uh, it was, you know, later on as, after the next couple of records, you can see that I started, you know, uh, bringing out that side too. But Strength was, was a great experience. We made that record in California. It was our first time away from home for any period of time, like staying somewhere in one spot in California is a, I'm sure you've been there. It's a hell of a place to be when you're, uh, when you're on top of the world, you know, I mean, it was a big party. So, um, but it was, it was a lot of fun making it. We had a good producer and, and, um, I got to move up the totem pole as far as production and, uh, and uh, the power and the, the musical aspects of the band, you know, I, I rose up the ranks there. And um, uh, a lot of people still still credit that record as uh, like ahead of its time or a good, the way that we put together, uh, you know, real orchestration and shit like that. But see, there it reverts back to growing up, listening to the Beatles and things like that, all that kind of orchestration, strings and all that stuff was in my head. I could hear that stuff. and so. I don't think without Paul Lanny being involved as producer, we would even delve into that stuff. And I'm glad that we did.